The night of the station fire, former Governor Don Kachiri was in Florida. So I said, well, you got to get me out of here. The next morning, he arrives in West Warwick. All of our prayers need to go out to the families. Words hard to describe the sight and the feeling as you're standing there looking at uh, what's transpiring. Kachiri says he was overwhelmed at how Rhode Island pulled together in its darkest hour. With the enormity of this tragedy, they just, you know, wanted to do anything, anything, you know. Just the outpouring. Clearly, the emotions are still raw 10 years after the fact. Oh, yeah. You still it, feel it. You, you don't. Uh, it, it's, it's something you never get over. And every, I always think about the families. As, as bad as I feel and as, uh, you know, as emotional as I can get talking about or thinking back, think about the families. Three nights after the fire, Kachiri says he and his wife Sue learned the identity of one of the victims, Catherine O'Donnell. I looked and said, my God, so I, I worked with her father uh, years ago, and when our kids were young, we used to camp together. We were good friends when our kids were young, and we both sat there and just tears. That really speaks to Rhode Island, doesn't it? We were all in some way touched by this fire. Oh, yeah, everybody. Yeah. If, you, if you didn't have a loved one, you knew somebody that did. You know, and uh, so yeah.